Part of the reason bakit may pakboy kasi tinatangkilik din ng mga babae ang mga pakboy. You might deny it, pero somehow, at the end of the day, mga characteristics kasi ng mga pakboy, minsan, yun yung mabibenta sa mga babae. Okay, the topic for tonight is a theory on to why may mga pakboy. What is the reason behind may mga ganitong klaseng tao? A pakboy! The one that doesn't respect women, in particular ang sinabi, but relies on them heavily. His distant, doesn't care about other people's time, and won't commit, patay tayo dyan, mga na NLR. He's self-absorbed and mess with others' emotion. Self-centered, self-absorbed. Puro yung mga gusto niya lang ang nasusunod. Are you with a pakboy? Let's find out. So first is, they have a wrong moral compass in defining what a real man is. Ito, this is a joke ha. Bakit daw, pag ang lalaki maraming chicks, tinatawag nila na master or pogi. Pero pag babae daw, maraming lalaki, hindi daw acceptable. So the perfect definition of this was, if you have a lock which everybody can open, you have a shitty lock. But if you have one key which can open a lot of locks, you have a master key. That is their own understanding of what a man should be. That is a wrong moral compass. We both know that that's wrong, di ba? So same as true with guys who's trying to fill their lives with plenty of women. That person is trying to compensate something that is lacking on himself. It could be time for family. It could be that the love that he thinks he deserves inside of the family is not present. That's why he finds fulfillment having a lot of women that surround him. Having a lot of women makes him more pogi. And that is the reason why there's a wrong moral compass. Moral compass in defining what a real man is. Diba? To be honest with you, ito real talk ha. I have the same notion before. As you try to mature through things and see a lot of stuff, you tend to realize that it's easy having plenty of women than committing yourself to one woman. Oh, that's so difficult. And if ever you're able to do that, like wholeheartedly, man, you have bigger balls than anybody in the world. Great. Here we go! That culture shift can start from us breathing new men. Us who are self-aware enough to know what should a real man is. Kasi hindi na natin matatanggal yan moving forward. Eh. We all grow up with that culture. The only thing that we can remove that kind of notion and definition is to start with us raising up kids that values women. So number two, they are tired of being the good guy. Trust me when I tell you na lahat ng pakboy before tried the right way. Ibig sabihin nun that they were once good guys. They were once the people who actually are gentlemen, who are actually the ones who gives value to women and put them on the pedestal. They are the guys who would wait for a woman to go out for four hours. They were the guys who is hopelessly romantic and would give anything to the woman that they love. And nahuhubog yung mga ganong klaseng tao because sa totoo lang, these guys were once good. And I'm not trying to tell them that they're bad in the entirety of their life, but they're bad in that aspect of their life lang. We have our own evils that we deal with every day. And there should come an understanding to each individual, whatever demons that they're carrying, as long as we try our very best to suppress that or remove that from our personality. Tulad nga ng sinabi ko, the reason why there's pack boys, the theory behind why they are who they are is because they're tired of being the good guy. Anong gagawin ko, Kuya Darbs? Uy, pati may bagong karakter. Isipin mo ha, niligawan ko siya ng 6 months. Binigyan ko ng roses everyday. Nagbibigay ako ng flowers, Kuya Darbs, ha? Sinuso at hatid ko, walang tipo yung sundo ko, ha? Walang ti sa dulo. Sundo lang, hindi sundot. <laughs> Pero ano, Kuya Darbs? Malalaman ko lang after 6 months, sumama doon sa isang lalaking pakboy. Kasi mas cool daw yun. Hindi daw siya masyadong hinahabol. Mas gusto daw ng mga girls yun. Kaya ako yung Darbs, bakit pa ako magiging gentleman? Bakit pa ako magiging ganito? Kung hindi lang naman pala ako na-appreciate ng mga babae. Ha? Gina-G ka mo ya? May split personality ka ba, Kuya Darbs? <laughs> I'm doing this to entertain you guys, ha? So I deserve a share on this. They're tired of being the good guy. They're tired of doing the right thing always. And it doesn't work because most of the time, women that they like so much, women that they love so much, tends to end up with the wrong guy. So might as well do the wrong thing as well. How many times have I been able to do the right thing over and over again? Hence, I'm still not being validated. The love that I'm trying to give this woman is not being noticed. Why should I continue to be the good guy? Sabi nga nila, 
Good guys finish last. So, Kuya Darbs, sa buhay ko, gusto ko naman mauna. So, I'm tired of being the good guy. Kaya sila naging Pac-Boy. If all of us don't entertain guys na Pac-Boy, or women don't entertain Pac-Boys, people would not strive to be one, di ba? Part of the reason why most people are like this is because it worked. Uh, if women are into nice guys, like literally into nice guys, guys that uh, value them, and give them assurance and are being loyal to them. And chicks dig that. Like, really, really dig that. I don't think may mga pakboy. Part of the reason bakit may pakboy, kasi tinatangkilik din ang mga babae, ang mga pakboy. You might deny it, pero somehow, at the end of the day, mga characteristics kasi ng mga pakboy, minsan, yun yung mabibenta sa mga babae. So, ganon. So, wag nyo pong tangkilikin yung mga taong Niloloko kayo. Anyway, that is the reason why most of them are being who they are is because they're tired of being the good guy. And what's next, Kuya Darbs? Number three is, they repeatedly got cheated on. Tulad nga ng sinabi ko, hindi lang dahil they're tired of being a good guy. It's also that after being a good guy and then fell in love to the wrong woman, they got repeatedly cheated on over and over and over and over again after giving them everything. Kumbaga, nadadala na sila. Nakakadala ang maging loyal na lalaki. Bakit pa ka magiging loyal eh? Ilang beses naman akong sinaktan. Again, my friends, this is not me trying to justify the act ng mga pack boy. This is me trying to understand them well so that we can deal with them properly next time. Now, one of the reasons as to why ga- bakit sila ganyan, they got repeatedly cheated on. And that is the reason why they are scared to commit. Ang sakit kasi if ever you jump into a specific place na walang kasiguraduhan and then you didn't have a defense na natira sa sarili mo. You didn't even clinch. Parang lum- ano ka, lumukso ka lang na without clinching your muscle to brace yourself. And it hurts every time. And that is why every time you love someone, there is supposed to be 20% that is supposed to give to yourself. Hindi pwedeng 100% agad-agad, all in. One day, you will find someone. You will be with someone. You will be able to attract someone that you can give your 100% into. Pero wag palagi. N- not every time you are in a relationship. Part of the reason why there is like that is because of women who hurt good guys before. Hindi ko sinasabing ikaw, pero there will always be a situation where a good guy is being hurt. And that, hence, that hurt was turned into negativity. And hence, that guy, which was supposed to be a good guy, became a pack boy. Ako, mas gusto ko yung pack boy, to be honest. Oy, ito, gusto ko to, ha. Sabi ni Ilagan Pimentel. You know why? Diyan ko malalaman kung seryoso talaga siya if ever magbago for me. Pag hindi mababago, iiwan ko. Gusto ko siya baguhin to become the best version of yourself. Do not fall into that trap, women, ha. Ito kasi ang nangyayari, kaya we all fall. We Most women likes challenge. Eh. And that we have the delusion, we could say, na ako lang yung babaeng makakapagpabago sa'yo. In all honesty, that could be true. Kasi ang isang pakboy hindi magiging pakboy yan habang buhay. Kung may isang babaeng dahilan kung bakit siya naging pakboy, may isang babae kung bakit siya magiging matino ulit. And it's a noble feeling to think that we can change them. Sa tamang tao, magbabago yan. Pero do not fall into a trap wherein you're supposed to fix that guy's attitude and problem. Kasi instead of you f- trying to fix someone, why don't you try to fix yourself, put that energy in? Also, there is another pull from the opposite direction that somehow you could be that woman that could change this guy. Pero never expect that always, whenever there's a boy around, you're that woman that can change that person forever. Next! Last but not the least, theory as to bakit may mga P-boys. The P-boy persona is a defense mechanism not to get hurt again. This is a veil of being scared to commit so that they just embody the ano, the notion of being a P-boy. So that they don't want to commit. It's not that these guys don't want to commit. It's just that they're scared too. Because of the past experiences that they had. Mostly, ang explanation ko, ang theory ko as to why may mga pakboy is because of their past experiences. Again, I would like to reiterate that whatever it is the defense mechanism of these guys are doing, it's wrong. At the end of the day, everybody of us went through our own experiences of pain and difficulty and suffering. That does not give us the right to hurt others' feeling in return just to compensate. Pero, Tulad ng sinabi ko, yun yung mga dahilan. And one of the reasons why may mga pakboy is because this is a persona 
just to have a defense mechanism for them not to get hurt again para hindi sila masaktan ulit in that this is a reason for them not to commit in that along the way they can stride and be hungry for attention and love of every woman that they are with and they have the freedom to skip just in case everything went south because they tried it before and when they tried it before the commitment that they gave to that woman or those women who hurt them was not worth it but it takes a special woman to somehow turn that boy into a man you're not supposed to have the audacity that whenever there's a guy a pack boy who comes into us we have to think that we can change them no pero sa totoo lang, ang isang P-boy magiging totoong lalaki yan sa tamang babae. So, depends on you if you're the right person for them. Right time, right moment, right opportunity. When all of it goes together, I think there's still a huge chance that that guy will literally be the same guy who he was before being hurt. It's just like dealing with pollution, I don't know, with sickness or with harm. Hindi pwedeng porket nanjan, it's okay. I mean, we are not supposed to do anything. Well, we can always protect ourselves, right? Protect ourselves not to be entangled with these type of people. Pero one day, somehow, they will realize it sooner or later. Pero you would not want to incorporate your time with these people because if you value your time and your energy, you would not waste it on people that is still a work in progress. I am a work in progress. But there are a work in progress that is about to be finished than a work in progress that is just starting. So find the amount of work you're willing to do and take it from there. Kung sakali man na ikaw bilang isang babae ay nasaktan ng isang p-boy, ayos lang yun. Bakit? Kasi that pain actually will help you being the best version of yourself someday. In a sense that that hurt, that pain, that suffering that you have been through with a person who doesn't have the right moral compass on what a man should be is a lesson in life wherein you can teach your kid someday you get married and have a happy life with a family. And it's our responsibility as the new generation who will breed new kids of the new generation to teach them what a proper man should be. And that, at some point, most of the women will become mothers too. And let's take the responsibility of teaching the kids to become better men, not to play with a woman's feeling. And that chivalry will be resurrected. Kasi sabi nila, chivalry is dead. We have the opportunity to resurrect a man of your word, a man of commitment, a guy that is concerned about not hurting someone's feeling just to fulfill his own selfish needs. Thank you very much sa lahat ng mga nanonood. Salamat po sa pagsama sa akin tonight and I'll see you again tomorrow ha. We have an interesting topic again tomorrow. I will always give you real thoughts through real talk. Always remember mga kaibigan, self-worth lang po tayo since day one. So this has been Real Talk Darbs. Yalla bye.